In last video, we'll explain, discuss on the uh, some uh, characteristic of uh, FET. So this is the advantage of FET compared to other transistor. So the first one is the high input impedance. So input impedance is a uh, important um, characteristic uh, for the voltage amplifier. So because we want to minimize the loss due to the uh, source resistance, so we need to have the high input impedance. So for the FET, uh, in particular, in particular, uh, specifically when we uh, use the uh, common source configuration, so we apply the gate uh, input to the gate. So the gate will be our uh, input terminals. So from the gate, at the gate, the impedance at the gate will be very very high because the uh, gate at the gate the device structure is a capacitor structure so the capacitor structure don't have any electrical connection because it is uh, there is an insulator so that's why the FET has a very high input impedance okay and then uh, in terms of the stability the FET has high temperature stability compared to the BJT. So BJT is more sensitive to the temperature change com uh, uh, because uh, uh, it's compared to the comparison to the FET. So next is FET structure is relatively small. So the device structure is quite simple and then you can uh, shrink the, the size of the FET. So that's why the FET is very suitable, is muchly used, is uh, used for the formation or for the fabrication of integrated circuit IC. In fact, almost all the transistor used in the circuit today is a FET structure because we can uh, make it very small and then we can very, have a very high density there. When we have a many transistor inside a chip so we can have a very powerful very high performance circuit performance so because of the uh, device uh, structure it can be fabricated with a fewer processing and uh, the difference between BJT with the FET is BJT is a bipolar so means that the BJT uh, the current conduction inside the BJT is due to the uh, conduction of the hole and electron but for the FET the current connection inside the FET is due to the only one carrier it can be uh, electron or it can be hole so for the N channel uh, MOSFET this is due to the electron channel but for the P channel MOSFET this is due to the hole channel so uh, since the FET uh, it's not made from the, the the operation of BJT is not mainly due to the PN, PN junction so we can expect the less noise and then uh, the structure itself uh, is uh, we have a less noise compared to BJT so here the noise here is ref referring to the noise uh, the electrical signal noise electrical signal noise so when we uh, deal with the device with a very small dimension and with the very very small current so uh, the current is uh, due to the movement of a very small numbers of carrier so in actual situation the carrier inside the semiconductor is uh, will will uh, undergo several physical process for example the free carrier electron is formed by the com uh, formed by the the the, the generation the generation the what we call it an uh, electron hole generation and the electron the generated electron will disappear due to the recombination with the hole all of this process is dynamically occurs throughout the times. So this 
uh, this uh, appearance and disappear this appearance of the carrier inside the uh, semiconductor substrate will form a noise electronic noise inside the device so uh, this is the noise that we are referring in this uh, statement and the FET usually used as a logic state logic switch so the FET is very because we can make it very small so we can uh, create a, a high functionality or we can create more uh, complicated uh, uh, circuit that can represent more complicated function logic function okay this slide compare between BJT and FET BJT is a bipolar device because uh, both electron and hole act as a carrier to, for, to flow the current but FET is called a unipolar device because operate only with one type of charge carrier in, in terms of the type, BJT have two types, NPN and PNP. FET has uh, actually many types. Uh, this is depend on your classification. If you want to classify the channel type, so FET has two types, with P, and P channel and N channel. In terms of the classification uh, of the control, BJT is a current control device because the uh, output current, the collector current is controlled by the base current. But the FET is called voltage control device because the uh, output current, drain current is controlled by the gate voltage. So this show the difference between the current control device and voltage control device. So the BJT, the current, IC current is controlled by the base current. Uh, FET, the drain current is controlled by the gate voltage. 